I recently had the chance to speak to someone directly behind the Apple Vision Pro team from Apple directly. Jeff Norris, Senior Director of the Vision Products Group, and also Alessandra McGinnis, who's from the product marketing team at Apple. And they got onto a call with myself and a creator, Declan, here in Singapore, who does some really great content on Instagram. I'll throw his page up here so you can see it. Really cool stuff. We went on this sort of this conference call to chat about what's new with this M5 Vision Pro because I did a first impressions a few days ago. I thought I had a good idea, but after talking to them, I'm kind of seeing a little bit more about what's making this thing tick. Again, I'm not trying to persuade you to get this or not. That's totally on you, your budgeting, and if you think it's important to have in your arsenal or not in terms of tech products, but I thought it'd be great to give you a little bit of insight on this. First, I do want to touch a little bit on this, which I thought was really cool. We were all together as Alessandra, myself, and Declan, and she was showcasing this 3D model of the new Apple Vision Pro. If you've never been on like a multi-person call on Vision Pro, it is the most surreal thing I've ever been involved with in tech. High five people, fist bump people. You can interact with them in a very organic way. And with the new personas, how you see like the faces in a very three-dimensional, very detailed way, the shadows, the light, how real it is in a very not real world. You're in the same room. Like when you're watching a presentation, you're all lined up next to each other, but then you're in a circle talk. It's unbelievable. Let's talk about personas. Now, personas is something that I noticed right off the bat, how detailed it was. And I put that in my initial first impressions of the M5, but learning what went into personas and almost how they had to build it from the ground up is very interesting. So here's Jeff more about that. First thing I want to point out is that we changed the the whole rendering approach of personas to a completely new technique that's based on Gaussian splats. So you might have heard of these before, but uh, if not, it, it, they're like a point cloud. So lots and lots of little points, but every one of those points is actually a kind of a blurry colored smudge instead of a point. And then when we render thousands of those on top of each other, just layering them on top of you know one after another, we end up with this representation that's not only delivering more detail, as you can see, but also, I think, a more natural and organic feeling, something that just feels more human and more more, more fluid and more natural. You notice things like, you know, the yeah. way his hood is coming through. I know, it's um, crazy. Yeah. It's I nuts. did it on purpose because I wanted to see how it handles the hoodie and everything. Yeah. And I love it. Yeah, I love it, it so much. Great. We also changed the, um, uh, this rendering approach such that we unify the ways that we're rendering the body and the face. Um, so it's, it's, it's a new network uh, architecture, a new neural network architecture that's emitting this, this Gaussian splat representation. Now let's talk about the M5 upgrade. Well, obviously the M2 has been out for a few years and the M2 is still a very powerful chipset. But what makes the M5 different? What are things that we're going to notice? Are you going to feel the difference Here's what they had to say. With so much detail now, does it take a lot of processing power? And is that why M5 sort of came into this picture as well? Well, what's exciting is, is that the new personas work on all of the Vision Pros, the M5 and, and the, the original. But it's true that the M5 does give us a big boost. And so not only do they you know, generate faster, but we get a graphics boost. We get um, you know, more multitasking across the whole system. So it, it definitely does help us awesome. a lot awesome. um, and in a lot of parts of, of the system. But yeah, we were, we're pretty proud that we were able to, to do this and still maintain um, being able to have five people simultaneously. So you and four other people on all of the, you know, the Vision Pro, the original and the new M5. I had a question that was on YouTube, kind of bouncing off what Declan was saying, is that they were someone is asking, does the imaging out of the M5 look better than on the M2? Um, well, there are some pretty significant improvements in the the clarity of what you're seeing in yeah. the M5 Vision Pro, both okay. in the way that the pass through appears and also the virtual content. So you know, we've in, we improved the 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 clarity, the pixels per degree, if we want mm -hmm. to get technical, in the in the new um, with the new M5. Uh, Vision Pro, and it's it's really noticeable, I think. And that comes through yes. one persona as well then, right? Mm -hmm. it, it does. It, it applies Everything. universally across the system. Essentially, yeah. we're able to use M5 to drive those custom micro OLED displays that we have even harder. Mm -hmm. So we're mm -hmm. able to render 10% more pixels wherever you're looking. So you get sharper text and those great mm -hmm. details that Jeff was talking about um, for anything that you're looking at, including personas. Now I'm going to jump in on that based on my perceptions over the past week plus using this. Yes, I have noticed personas loads up much faster when you're, you know, developing your persona for the first time. That's the first thing you're going to see. Things are a bit smoother, a bit faster, apps load faster. 
I would say, you know, spatial images as well, which we'll talk about in just a second. They're quicker. Everything feels like it's got a boost of caffeine. And that's the best way to put it. Is it a huge difference in some aspects? Oh yeah. In other aspects, not so much. Like anything, it takes time for developers to get on board, you know, get the ball moving. And I think we're going to see that happening very, very soon, especially with gaming, with the content creation. I'm excited to see what's coming up. Let's talk about spatial photos for a second. We actually had a really fun demo with this where we got to share some photos and I shared some from uh, some, you know, photos I've taken previously and an upcoming review. And just to get an idea of what it's like to share with everybody and how we sort of interact with the photos and a lot of engineering, there's a lot of design. There's a lot that goes on to this. I mean, even after this demo, it gave me a new appreciation of why this is priced the way it is. And yes, there's other products out there that are a lot cheaper, but can they do what we're seeing here? Hard to say, man, this is pretty friggin' impressive. And this is just showing photos. Imagine what's going to come in the months from now. Mind blown, seriously. Uh, with that, guys, if you like this video, like, subscribe. Thank you for the support. Greatly appreciate it. And I'll chat to you all very, very soon.